Hey guys, Martin D here. Uh, today we'll be talking about demonic he, I guess. Um, it is the last few hours uh, for the double uh, underdark campaign currency. Um, I have completed it uh, with the help of Signal Pat Patronage, Patronage, yeah. And um, as well as doing the daily missions, of course. Um, so I'm in Dread Ring right now. You could actually do these it's at several locations. Uh, for example, Wall of Dragons, even the Stronghold, um, and of course, Red Ring. And I think there's one more, but I can't think of one right now. So, usually. Oh, yeah, Icewind Pass and Dwarven Valley. Those two, basically, the Icewind Pass uh, or Icewind Dale map. Anyway, uh, going back to HEs, there are three um, located at certain points for Dread Ring. There's the Demonic Escape over here, uh, there's Demonic Slaughter here, and Demonic Closure over here. Um, and. Demonic escape is kind of like the ugh, the one that people don't want to do because it takes a while and God dang it, there had to be somebody here, isn't there? It wouldn't there? Anyway, um, yeah, it takes about five minutes to complete, and if you were to get kind of just leave it alone, it would take fifteen minutes to kind of dis dissipate, dissipate. Dissipate. So, um, I'm hoping that I can actually find a low pop here, just to illustrate. I was hoping there wasn't anyone gonna be there because nobody really likes to do it. Ah, here we go. Um, there's two minutes left. To, oh, where am I going? There's two minutes left though, so uh, this may not apply. But if it just pops, say you did a closure or a demonic slaughter and uh, this popped basically it goes demonic escape demonic slaughter demonic closure then go back again to demonic escape basically it rotates between uh, those three um, sometimes it goes like demonic slaughter demonic escape or demonic closure and demonic escape so it really it really depends on the rng for that so um, a trick and this this trick has been, I think, you can you can apply this trick to most of the demonic heroic encounters, to be honest. But um, what you can do when it's like a time constraint like this, time sensitive mission like this, where you have to wait for the timer to, to actually count down. So at the moment we have four minutes and thirty seconds there. Oh god. The idea is for us to prevent all these um, mobs or ads to go through to this portal that I'm standing on. So what you want to do, actually, you can just um, aggro them. Not this one, this one doesn't stop at all. You just hit them once and then forget about them, basically. It's best if you're a ranged uh, class like uh, DC or uh, Hunter Ranger or whatever. But yeah, I'm I'm, a guess, I'm guessing I'm just too strong for these guys at the moment, or my comp's too strong. Basically, you just want to hit them once, aggro, and then just leave them alone. That way, uh, it doesn't spawn any more ads, and it makes your life a lot easier. Um, I know it's kind of cheese, but I guess that's what this channel is all about. Shortcuts and cheese without actually hacking or playing around with the code and breaking terms and conditions of the game. Um... And that's basically it, I guess. I don't really want to. I mean, uh, what's what else is there to talk about? Or what you can do? Um, what I wanted to point out earlier, but there was somebody around. Could just leave it. Activate it. Once it's activated, just leave it. You know, the, the demonic escape, especially. Not not the other two. The other two are quite easy to do, I would say. Um, I think 
I may cut off here and then continue the video again or I could just continue doing my dailies while waiting for this to kind of pop down hopefully nobody comes here and kind of like swoop in and try to finish that um, demonic hero encounter and cause it to delay even further um, so we'll just wait see how it goes just gonna continue recording uh, what am I supposed to do here I'm supposed to kill demons Oh yeah, that's another thing I want to mention. This is my DC. Um, not sure if I've actually made a video on my DC alt before. I've shown I've shown you guys kind of like my 23 odd tunes on my character page. Uh, character page. Character page, I guess you want to call it. It's not character sheet. Not this is it six right? There's another guy. Oh, there you go. It disappeared. So basically, now what we want to do is wait for it to pop. It could either be slaughter or closure. So it's slaughter, and then I'll go. Hold on, hold on. Just out of walk here for a bit. Kind of like aim for that uh, slaughter somewhere. There you go. Put his own chat, slaughter up at 6. That is, if anybody is interested, it looks like that guy at, at 5 posted it first, so people probably gonna rush there. And if it kinda like maxes out, people probably go to 6. It doesn't really matter, I can probably handle this by myself. It's only because I'm at a high level. Actually, speaking of which, mod 14. They'll be introducing level adjustments, so basically for this map, they probably want to reduce your stats as well as your enchantments according to the posts anyway. I haven't taken the time to read them, so I'm not going to talk too much about it. Uh, there's like videos out there by other creators anyway talking about it left and right, so... That's not what this channel is about. This channel is about making your life easier so you can get those moves and you know AD or whatnot leveling up as fast and as efficient as possible. So this is one way of doing it, um, especially during two times currency like today is gonna be over soon though. So maybe for the next one or maybe even for your daily uh, kind of like getting boons for your alts you know or even your main so hopefully this information is useful for you all right I did that quite quite fast I think it was about ooh, I don't know four minutes I don't know I think it was my timer there was two minutes last I saw it now it's eight so it took me six minutes and eh, it didn't feel like six minutes anyway yeah after slaughter it'll be closure and that's basically the save with you know World of, uh, World of Dragons and your stronghold and whatnot, but I kind of like it doing it over here in uh, Dread Ring. Um, I can't really explain. It. I guess it's because the map is small. Yeah, that tends to happen too sometimes. Reinforcements. I guess because I'm by myself, so probably game things like I won't be able to cope so if one of them go down the other two is still around so which is good um, anything that will make the hero encounter go faster is a good thing I don't even know if I'm gonna bother telling people about it they probably come by uh, if they saw me saying slaughter earlier this closure uh, so you could type in uh, CL pound keys or add six since this is instance number six and that's about it you just this this HE um, is good for rings as well uh, for RP but not as much I would say it's all right I mean if you if you really wanted to get RP, there are there are a lot better ways, much better ways than this. But it's 
it's nice anyway. 2.2k with VIP. Per HE. I mean, actually, it's not it's not 100% that you'll get an HE. I mean, a, a ring, but it's pretty fast, so not too bad. When it comes to AD, anyway. And I guess it's just uh, I guess that's it, really. Um, I felt like, oh yeah, maybe talk a little bit more about the currency. So you got a couple choices: make a great key, make a lesser key. Great keys are for CN and epic demos. Lesser ones are for uh, normal demos. Then you got your 4K. Uh, astral diamonds, rough astral diamonds, and your kind of like vouchers. Uh, I feel like this is outdated. I mean, you get to choose between gold, labor, and gems, but you only get like on a normal day, you only get four guild marks per voucher. So it's like, what? Why would you want to spend that much? I mean, all this uh, demonic ichor and treasures. For four guild marks, it's ridiculous. There's better ways, better guild mark producing um, items out there that you can donate, like a plus five ring, etc., rather than you know doing that labor, doing that basic um, voucher with the amount, the amount of treasures and demonic accords that you need to use that voucher is not worth it at all in my opinion you can go if you have if you probably like maxed out on your currency then you know by all means but I don't think it's, I don't think it's a good investment at all I tried doing it the other day um, and yeah it was it was really nice what for, for bookmarks like no so yeah I mean uh, I guess I could even end the video right here uh, but you know, you just wanna watch me kill stuff. Go ahead. Otherwise, thank you for watching. It's almost ending anyway. And there we go. And okay, we didn't get any rings after that HE. But sometimes uh, another heroic encounter pops up when there's like gold award as well as uh, enough people to go around. But obviously there doesn't seem to be any. And it goes back to demonic escape again like I said previously. So that's about it. That's my tips for getting fresh rest and demonic core. I hope you like it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.